I've walked in and up the hill. And we're gonna travel upstream as usual. Unpleasant ground. It stood the test of time, but how long is it gonna be before this pond submerges the entire thing? Well, hey everybody, welcome to a, another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So I was thinking of what to do today. It's very cold, doesn't look it, but it's cold. So I wanted to go for a quick explorative hike. And I was thinking of places that I hadn't been to in a long time that I want to revisit, you know, and throw a new eyeball on it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna leave this mill site here and we're gonna travel upstream and we're gonna go out to a site that I haven't been to in just about six years. This morning, I'm thinking, George took me out here six years ago. Wow, time flies. And I always thought I need to get back there because when we were there, it was uh, full vegetation. I think it was early spring. So we really couldn't see much other than where the river went through, where the water was contained. But I've always been curious. There had to have been other structures out there. So we got to cross over here and then head up. And go see what it looks like. And this is the kind of stuff I'm going to be dealing with to try and get out there. A lot of low-lying water. Some of it's still frozen. A little bit of snow. I don't have terribly far to go, but the conditions are definitely going to make it take a little while. So I should be up above. I've walked in and up the hill, running parallel with the river. And that body of water out there should be what is being retained by what's left of the, the mill site dam. Because I wanted to come up here to see if there was any remains of any structures or anything. And I'm not seeing anything. Plenty of rock, nothing stacked. So we're gonna head down, check out the mill. Actually, I'm off. That beaver dam did not exist. And I've crossed that before. You can see where there's a logging path going right through there. So all the flooding I'm seeing down there along the ridge I just passed is all fairly new. So I actually need to go further up. I got a bad feeling about this. You see all that stuff growing out there? That's freshly submerged. All this water was not here before. Holy crap. Well, it's a good thing I did not park at the other spot thinking I was gonna walk in through here. That is unreal. Look at that, it's a whole different world. George, if you're watching, you know where I'm at. And that body of water did not exist. Not too long ago. Here we go.
So it is so different in here that when George and myself were here years ago, we were out there where that log is. It was just tall grass and we actually walked our way back to the truck through that. Unreal how much stuff changes. And never mind, that didn't exist. It was just a brook. And now it's a massive pond. Things can disappear in no time. So what we presume is that this mill site was built right around 1750 and it was a failed business venture and then the guy eventually built the one we came across in the beginning. So it's extremely old, it stood the test of time but how long is it going to be before this pond that's fresh backs all the way up to these walls and submerges the entire thing. Wow, I'm glad we came out. All right, a few more minutes, gotta get out of here. I gotta go up the hill and look around. That's where we need to see if there's any other structures. They had to have other buildings. As usual, unpleasant ground. Wow, I think there's a new dam up there too. That's loud. Beavers are busy this year. Some logging debris. Now check this out. I hiked up here, I'm gonna say 13 or 14 years ago. And this was clear cut. This is what it looks like now. How quickly it all comes back. Wow. Oh, that beaver dam's huge. It all makes more sense now though. Because when I think of driving down the road that's out there, this water has shown itself because a few times we've seen it almost up to the road, but I didn't think it came this far back. Geez, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to where I originally crossed. I was thinking I could pop out here. That lift over there is where we've come in before to hike. You know, like I said, we were up there years ago and of course the mill. No more though. Big beaver. So he's one of the culprits created all this. That's my old road right there. <laughs> well, all right, everybody successfully navigated across the little dam that that beaver made because I want to get out a different way. Fortunately, I could, but just goes to show you all that water, that big massive pond was not there six years ago when we walked in. I cannot believe that. Makes me wonder what it's gonna look like, you know, 10 years from now, if that dam doesn't go away. Crazy. Well, get out and explore your world, and I'll see you soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. So what we presume is this. Didn't see nobody